Rick, congratulations on the second season of Das Boot. Thank you Hoffman is coming back, as we learned at the end of episode 8 in season 1. Mm -hmm. He survived, he's now in New York. Could you tell us a little bit more what happened to him? What happened to him? Yeah, how, how, how he survived? How, how he survived? Well, we will find out in season 2 how he survived. This is part of uh, some flashbacks we are showing during the 8 episodes in season 2. This is how the audience will find out how he survived. And uh, what is he doing in New York? Not too much, but um, he reconnected with somebody he knew. Well, he landed in New York in uh, Sam Greenwood's office. Yeah. And now he's basically living with uh, Sam Greenwood. And his main goal is to go home, to get back to Germany. Yeah. I think it's the first sentence he says in the series. I think uh, the first one is, uh, I think we're going to meet this someone who could get me home. Yeah. So his uh, main goal is obviously very clear from the beginning, but uh, of course it's 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 a very character-driven drama series, das Boot, mm -hmm. and so it's all about uh, uh, questioning himself in his in his uh, storyline, where he's questioning himself: uh, is going back to Germany really what I want, or is maybe the life in New York that I, that he's living right now? maybe the better choice and who am I really and is, is everything uh, what I or what he thinks he is is he that and yeah. so this is this is all about his story um, I found him in the first two episodes still a little bit like lost in this big city because there's a scene where he's looking I think it's Madison Square Garden and there's this big word Admiral, like mm. his father is the Admiral, and uh, why do you think there is this desire for him, of him to go back, because it is so hard to go back, or is it like revenge for what happened to him, because he was a man of honor, he didn't do anything wrong, there was just this unity mm. that uh, Prangel sort of organized and topped him off. Well, first of all, it's of course uh, to clear his name and to tell the truth what happened on, on the submarine. Of course, he wants to tell about the immunity. And he thinks that everybody else thinks in Germany that he's dead, that he, that he died. And of course, um, he's, he's not that stupid. Of course, he knows that they uh, changed the logbook, yeah. that they, that's all lies in there. And now he wants to go back to, to tell the truth. And, um, and um, I think this is, this is his main goal and his main reason to go back home but like I said before he's, he's starting to question himself and because of people he's meeting and because of he is getting uh, because of the, the life he's getting to know in New York that he thinks well maybe I don't know what, what is right and who am I and do I want to play this kind of game do I want to play with lies do I want to be this man as well and he's sort of not saying serving but supporting Sam and um, do you think what is the motivation of Sam? Is it just, you know, that his father is accepting him and uh, Hoffman sort of has something that from can make Sam from zero to hero of a sudden? Because it seems to be very important for him that his father accepts him on the same level. Or And you, you have that because you always have to correct him. Like, it's not you having it, it's us having it. Well, we have this yeah. secret. Well, of, of course, uh, um, like Sam says, his, yeah. his goal is to uh, prove his father that he is something, that he can do something mm -hmm. on his own. But he needs Hoffman's help to get there because he want to uh, develop the radar mm -hmm. and he want to he wanna fix it, he want to do things with the radar and so he can um, stand up for himself and show himself as, as, as the guy who can do something on its own and um, while Hoffman is, is kind of serving him because the deal is you help me and I'll help you go back to Germany because I give you the connection yeah. to Frederick Berger who's played by Thomas Kretschmann um, I give you that connection and you help me with the radar well of course as we will learn um, Berger says the same thing well you help me with this and I can go I can get, get you back to Germany Berger is right from the beginning a very um, strange kind of character. Um, he lives in New York, he has well, a settled life, he has his own apartment. 
On the other hand, he seems quite to be a racist. He has something against people of color. He's not that happy in this very um, cool nightclub with a singer and mm -hmm. he's sort of uh, obviously fitting more to the right perspective of parties with his kind of view, while Hoffman was never. And Ho Hoffman was just, well, also like, like Sam trying to live up the shadow of his father or the people before mm. and uh, of course that book in season one the father had mm. written um so how is um i think your character is now torn between a lot of uh, other things you know there is burger who is maybe the key for home sam who has to finance the way home and it seems there is also sort of foreshadowing of a love affair, if I'm not. Maybe. Um, but, but like you said, I, I think torn between um, the things he wants or the things he has to do yeah. is, 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 is a very good description of, of what, he's, what, what he's going through. And of course, he's getting to know Cassandra, the um, jazz singer, um, which... Um, is uh, obviously very beautiful and Sam is in love with her obviously and we're getting to know that and um, Hoffman is through Berger he has the opportunity to go back home but of course he's very like Hoffman says he's very sleazy and he, he, he don't know really gets him or what, what is it what is he wants and uh, we will get to know that he's and he thinks the, the white race is the dominant Race, yeah. uh, as he puts it, and um, of course, of course, Hoffman is, and, and and he finds himself in some situations with Berger where he's like, okay, this is, I don't know how I should think of you, or what, what do you want from me? What do you want me to do? But um, as soon as this, as this, as the season continues, in some episodes, we will get to know what Berger really wants, what his what his main goal is and why he needs Hoffman for that and why Hoffman is now the perfect opportunity to, for him to get to the point where he wants to be and what Hoffman can get from him. So it's more of like, uh, it's, it's, it's basically a deal they, they do. Is, could one compare it because um, it seems with a hunting going on like Wrangel is hunting von Reinhardt, so um, von Reinhardt is the prey that you become the prey for the states because of your knowledge as a Hoffman and of all the input you have and all that stuff. Um, because, I mean, for the US government or the military, Hoffman must have been quite a character to know and to get into their hands as well. Well, this is the game they're playing. I mean, yeah. um, like, like, like Sam says in the beginning to his father, um, just give him a little bit more time and. Um, he will, he will get us to the point with the radar where we yeah. want to go and they're playing the game that everyone else in their environment thinks that Hoffman is some guy from Switzerland. Yes. And no one, and, he, and, and Sam doesn't tell the truth except his father knows the yeah. truth. Obviously, Sam knows the truth and Hoffman knows the truth. And at some point, Berger knows the truth because he has to know um, because Berger is the one who should get Hoffman home. Yeah. But I think the, the uh, well, I don't think I know, that uh, this sort of lie is, is settled at a very good point because we'll have, has, we'll have a kind of payoff because this is the lie he's he, he based on, he's living on, he's pretending to be someone. And this is also, like I said in the beginning, uh, a big thing for him, pretending. Who am I? Who I want to be? And how, how, how much am I willing to live up this life for the truth? Because at some point the truth will come out. Yes. And he's, he's just figuring out what is a good point. And there's no good point at all. No yeah, good, you know. Cool. Yeah. Um, so this is, this, is, this is his path. And all these characters are... Um, they bring together their own reasons why they're here and why they're doing what they do. And this explodes at some point, of course, because all the lies will end up to something. <laughs> um, about after season one, did a lot change? Did a lot of people from abroad approach you? Because well, I mean, it was quite a series that sold well. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, you you do receive some messages from all over the world, um, some very very positive feedback 
and it was uh, very nice to hear or to read. You have fan mail with pictures and you have to sign them, of course. And it's, it's very nice, it's very fun. Have you been to conventions or uh, to, to presentation support that you could sort of uh, show you as an actor from Germany who speaks English well? <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, well, there was one time uh, for season one we did some kind of promotion days in Eastern Europe where everybody from Eastern Europe well, came together in one yeah. place and we had this one premiere for two episodes. And it was very nice, it was very cool to get to know all these, all these people from, from, from Europe. It was mm -hmm. nice. What are the next projects you are going to do? Well, there's nothing I can speak of right now, but um, of course I'm doing a TV show from Tatort, yeah. which is uh, quite popular in Germany, um, doing two films per year with this show. And this is what's come next for me. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you very much.